A recent report revealed claims that different species of ancient hominids not only interacted but shared ideas and art. Citing the work of an academic, the article in the Guardian newspaper claimed that when Neanderthals, Denisovans and Homo sapiens met one another 50,000 years ago, they not only interbred during the thousands of years in which they overlapped, but they exchanged ideas that led to a surge in creativity. Tom Hyam, a professor of archaeological science at the University of Oxford, argued that their exchange explained a proliferation of objects in the archaeological record, such as perforated teeth and shell pendants, the use of pigments and colourants, decorated incised bones, carved figurative art and cave painting. He said that through the early 50,000s up to around 38,000 to 40,000 years ago, we see a massive growth in these types of ornaments that we simply didn't see before. Between 40,000 and 150,000 years ago, our cousins included the Neanderthals, Homo floriensis, Homo luzonesis and the Denisovans. Now it's just us. There aren't any other types of humans on the planet, Professor Hyam says. He added, we always thought the origins of art and complex cognitive thought was a hallmark of us, modern humans. This was called the human revolution. The basis of this hypothesis, which came about in the 1970s, was that humans came out of Africa and brought with them a cognitive ability that no other types of humans, particularly Neanderthals, had. Now what we think is happening is that it's not restricted to modern humans at all. If our groups were into breeding, then cultural transfer, the exchange of ideas, thoughts and language may well also have been happening. Humans are good at picking up new ideas. The latest research, which draws on recent findings by international scientists and archaeologists, will feature in Professor Hyam's new book, The World Before Us, How Science is Revealing a New Story of Our Human Origins, to be published on the 25th of March. He wrote that Earth was a primevally complicated place 50,000 years ago. To borrow from the words of Tolkien, we should think of it as a veritable middle Earth in terms of the diversity of forms of the human family that existed at the time. There were five, six or even more different types of human present in various parts of the world. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like, share and most importantly subscribe. Thank you for watching.